Hi, my name is Joseph Luchiger and I'm going to demonstrate the plugin framework. This video is targeted towards a developer wanting to develop a TraceFinder plugin. As of TraceFinder 3.1, TraceFinder supports a plugin framework which enables um, third-party developers or Thermo Fisher developers to add additional functionality to TraceFinder. These plugins run in process and have full access to the API. So what can you do with a plugin? Uh, you can add a view to TraceFinder. For example, this is a, a plugin which looks like all the other views. Uh, you can also add items to the toolbar and to the menu options. Or you can develop a system um, plugin which does nothing more than listen to events and has no UI. This is the plugin download page, um, which will be available on mytracefinder.com. You can see we have a couple of plugins under development. The reporting plugin, uh, which does have, which is live, on this prototype website. The Civ plugin, which has also been developed, and will be available. Uh, email notification plugin, which sends an email when acquisition is complete, also has been developed. The Quick View plugin, um, which enables a hybrid view of batch view, data review, and reporting. So that gives you a little bit of an overview of what plugins can be developed and what functionality can be added to TraceFinder. So to get started, you simply have to create a .NET 4.0 uh, projects project, reference the um, TraceFinder DLLs, and apply this attribute, an assembly level attribute, TraceFinder plugin. This is found in the um, Thermo Sherpa UI SDK namespace TraceFinder plugin attribute. Um, if you want to implement a view, um, you simply uh, add this attribute to that class, the plugin view name, plugin mode, and inherit from the TraceFinder WPF view control. Or you have the option of implementing the iView class, but then you have to implement all the methods yourself. It's a little bit easier if you just inherit from this class, which you see does most of the work for you, and I just have to um, I just need to plug in, for example, in this case, my plugin, uh, reporting plugin um, configures reporting at startup and uh, refreshes on activation. Here's an example of a system extension, which is basically a class which inherits from I system extension, which is found in the same namespace that I mentioned before. Um, and you have the ability to, you have, there's just basically two events, uh, startup and shutdown, which are called by TraceFinder in the plugin framework. And I can do things like subscribe to um, events. Uh, so in this case, I'm subscribing to the global event, which um, I then wire up to, or I call the uh, handle local method open and the handle batch closed events. And I'm using that to refresh my data in my plugin, uh, reporting plugin. So how do you deploy a TraceFinder plugin? You simply drop it into this directory, C Thermo TraceFinder 3.1 plugins, and TraceFinder, when it starts up, looks in this directory uh, for any DLL that ends in .plugin.dll has to have that naming convention, either lowercase or uppercase. Um, in this particular directory, plugins are TraceFinder version specific, um, and then. If you have, if your plugin has any dependencies, you can add them to this directory, the plugins lib directory. You can see here for my reporting plugin, I have several reference DLLs that uh, provide UI um, functionality. This is a third-party control spreadsheet control. Um, this is the actual reporting DLL, the utility DLL, etc. So, quite flexible and powerful as far as your ability to uh, add functionality to TraceFinder and reference it. The only other step you need to take uh, to enable your plugins is go to Administration Console, which is accessible either from this menu in TraceFinder or from the uh, shortcut on the desktop. Go to the Plugins page, and here you will see all the plugins which are found, which were found at load time in this folder. You can enable or disable 
that plugin. If it's not signed, you'll get this message that says this plugin is not thermo certified. It could pose unknown risk to your application and or results. Are you sure you want to enable it? If it is signed, then you won't get that message. And also, if you drop it in this directory, it'll automatically be enabled by default. A plugin can also define configuration, and it simply needs to implement an interface, um, and then it needs to implement its own UI for configuration. It also is responsible for where it stores these settings. Uh, here, this is a very simple um, configuration setting for uh, turning off legacy reporting and turning on uh, plugin reporting uh, for auto report generation. So that's pretty much it for this introduction video. Um, we look forward to seeing what functionality you will add to TraceFinder. Um, there are several plugins which we've envisioned, and I'm sure that there are several that you've envisioned, and we look forward to um, seeing what you come up with.